The queen is known for standing out from the crowd in vibrantly colored outfits, and today the monarch had competition from her daughter-in-law Camilla who opted for a matching shade. Both royals looked as if they had color-coordinated their outfits for the Commonwealth Day at London's Westminster Abbey today as they arrived in deep purple shades. The 92-year-old monarch donned a deep purple button-down jacket, with a matching skirt underneath. Prince Charles' wife sported a long purple velvet coat for the occasion, which boasted button a detail down the front of the garment, and puff shoulders, similar to the Queen's outfit. The Queen, who is the head of the Commonwealth, continued the regal color scheme through to her accessories, as she wore a purple hat with floral decoration on the front as well as a diamond and amethyst brooch on her left side. She also wore a pair of black court shoes, gloves and handbag for the annual ceremony. Duchess Camilla, 71, followed suit, and right down to the accessories as well. Camilla also completed her look with a purple hat to match. She too kept her accessories classic and minimalist wearing a pair of black leather gloves, as well as a black satchel style bag much like the Queen trusty Launer handbag. Camilla also wore a pair of pearl drop-down earrings for her appearance, but she went the extra mile by opting for a triple-strand pearl necklace with a diamond-encrusted emblem in the center. The main difference between their outfits is the Queen opted for nude tights, while Camilla opted for black hosiery. Backslash. The Commonwealth represents 53 countries and almost 2.4 billion people and 2019 marks the 70th anniversary of the modern Commonwealth, enabling cooperation towards social, political and economic development. Commonwealth Day has a special significance this year American Samoa 2019 marks the 70th anniversary of the modern Commonwealth, a global network of 53 countries and almost 2.4 billion people. The theme for this year's service is a connected Commonwealth which highlights the cooperation between the culturally diverse family of nations who work together in friendship. In the Queen's message to mark Commonwealth Day, the head of state has praised how the family of nations inspires its member states to find ways of protecting the planet and its citizens. Millions of people are drawn together because of the collective values shared by the institution, the Queen says in her address to the countries of the Commonwealth. The written message is featured in the order of service for the annual Commonwealth Day service being held at Westminster Abbey. In her message, she said, In April last year, I welcomed the leaders of our 53 nations to Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, and we all witnessed how the Commonwealth vision offers hope, and inspires us to find ways of protecting our planet, and our people. We are able to look to the future with greater confidence and optimism as a result of the links that we share, and thanks to the networks of cooperation and mutual support to which we contribute, and on which we draw. With enduring commitment through times of great change, successive generations have demonstrated that whilst the goodwill for which the Commonwealth is renowned may be intangible, its impact is very real. The Queen and Camilla were joined at the Commonwealth Day service by grandsons Prince Harry and Prince William, as well as their partners Duchess of Cornwall and the Duchess of Sussex.